Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine. I have a six card spread here for you. This is going to be an update on Lori Vallow. Y'all know she's the lady that allegedly killed her children. She's been charged with murder, been in jail for about a year now. Um, and I recently watched a video on YouTube where she's, they said she was in, too incompetent to stand for trial. So my question for the cards is, is she pretending? Is she putting on an act? She's smarter than most people think. I mean, she is crazy because she killed her children, but she's also smarter than what people think. This lady is a black widow. She has so many deaths behind her. It's ridiculous. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, y'all. Give me a big thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you'll be reminded when I upload another video. If you want a personal reading, contact me with the email down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's get started with the reading. Remember, this is alleged... Um, I have to say that because of YouTube rules. Um, I don't like using that word because it, it feels like my work ain't credible. I've been a tarot card reader for 30 plus years. I know what I'm doing, what I'm saying, and I'm never wrong. So for the first question I asked, is Lori Vallow pretending to be crazy, incompetent, so she won't stand trial? Now, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Dang, my throat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So for the first card, we have the Five of Swords. This is not a good card either way, up or down. This is a person that's very sneaky, conniving. When you get this person, this card, this person literally represents, or this card literally, literally represents that this person is a thief, is sneaky, conniving, will do anything to, anything to get things to go her way, her, her or his way. You see how this person is smirking because they know that they beat their opponents. The They use a aggression of power that's right or wrong either way to get things to go their way against the other person. Um, this person falls from grace. They have no grace about them. Um, they apply an unfair application of power towards other people. Um, they can talk people easily into stuff. Easily. They have the ability to talk people into stuff. And this is this is her. I'm hearing the word cunning. Very cunning. Very cunning. Sly. Very sly. <clears throat> ability to manipulate others. Uh, other people to suit the conditions around her to fit her own needs. So is she pretending? Yes. She knows exactly what she's doing. She knows that, and then this card, that's what it explains here. I'll explain that in a minute. But she knows that she's already being charged. Okay, where does she want to spend the rest of her life? In a hardcore cold jail or in a mental facility where they have better surroundings with um, a bed, a better bed, better food, you know, more access to other stuff. She knows what she's doing. Very cunning, manipulative. Um, this person always develops a bad reputation, which she has now. Hold on, y'all. Let me get a drink. <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with my throat. Um, I think it's this card. <laughs> Every time I get a bad card, I start choking. Um, so, yeah. So, this person is just plain destructive. They're, everything they do is destructive. There's nothing ethical about them. And, um, yeah, and their victories are unethical as well. She may be victorious in the things that she's planning, but it's unethical is what I'm hearing. <clears throat> Let me lay that card down because it's giving me a bad energy. Okay, so now the page of swords. This is when there's third parties involved. Because in the upper, that's what it means, third party spine. This person is angry, messages coming in. Meaning this person is doing a lot of third spine. I do feel like someone has been giving her information about stuff. But now the whole truth about her pretending to be incompetent is about to come out. Or just the truth about her is about to come out. Everybody is going to know the truth of what she did. The truth of how she's pretending. The truth about her character. Things like that. That's what this is represent when it's in the reverse. It represents the truths coming out about this person carrying the sword. The swords are never good, okay? Never good. Um, this When this card's in the reverse, it rep re represents unpredictable behavior is what she is doing. 
She's doing unpredictable behavior. A strange, strange twists coming out of her unpredictable behavior. There's always a dark cloud around this person. They don't know how to deal. Or actually, she knows how to deal with stuff because she knows that um, she can turn things around by pretending to be incompetent, things like that. But when this card is in the reverse, great communication comes out. That means the truth will be re revealed about her. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dang. Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm getting choked up for some reason. I think it's just the energy of these cards. So, <clears throat> now, we have the Queen of Cups. With the Queen of Cups, this is literally her. She's in her emotions. You see all the wavy, wavy water around her? That represents all her turbulent times. And boy, does she have a whole bunch of turbulent times. But she still sees herself as this queen on a throne. She thinks that she's special. She thinks that she should get special privileges and things like that. Only she's not really speaking that out. That's why the cup is closed. You see how she's in her mind. Blue represents being deep thought in your mind. And she's looking at this cup. But this cup is closed representing everything she's thinking and feeling. She's keeping it inside. She's not really telling people her plans. But she thinks she deserves special treatment. She's this queen on the throne. And no one's going to treat her any kind of way. And that's her current status right now. So... The best way for her to get over other people is to pretend that she's incompetent or that she can't stand trial to get better conditions for herself. And I kind of think that the attorney told her to pretend um, to be incompetent. That was her best way out because he, at this point, he can't really help her. He can't get her off or plead innocent or anything like that. There's too much evidence against her. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I feel like he told her, look, your best bet is incompetency you know lawyers do that and you'll be in better conditions than a hardcore jail ha hardcore ha hard cold jail all right <clears throat> dang i don't know what happened to my throat so now here we have the hierophant this is the lure of confirmation when you get this is a judge <clears throat> hold on y'all okay i'm back sorry i had to clear my throat i don't know what's happening to me but anyway with the Hierophant, this is the lure of confirmation. This is a judge, and you see how the people are waiting for an answer down here? The judge is high up. This is a very passionate judge, very um, true to his word, showing his power. So I am seeing that with this being the lure of confirmation, meaning everything in this reading is the truth. Conf confirmation, confirming that that is exactly what she's doing, and it fell right underneath the five of swords so that is a confirmation that she is pretending she is lying also it fell next to the tower so that means the truth is going to be exposed because she's about to have a tower moment okay so let's get to the tower <clears throat> so you see in this the lightning bolt strikes the tower the people are flying out uh to their death actually the background is black so that represents bad karma bad uh, energy, the crown that she was wearing here and here, because it fell under this card, is blown off her head. Okay, so that means that the truth is going to be exposed. She's going to have a tower moment, unexpected event, meaning she's it's not really going to go the way she planned, um, although she's trying to get there and do get better conditions for herself, but it's not going to be really go the way she wants because uh, the truth is going to come out. It's going to be exposed. And that's good because she don't deserve anything good. She has at least, what, six murders behind her. Everyone she meets passes away. She's a black widow. Okay. So a person like that don't need to be free. And they don't need to be in good conditions either because she don't deserve that. Okay. Especially what she did to her children. <clears throat> so last but not least... Um, we have justice. Look at that. So I asked for the final outcome of the situation for her, and I got the justice card. And if you notice, again, the judge is wearing red. Very passionate judge holding his sword up, swords cut. Now, remember, swords cut. So that represents that he's fixing to cut her to the quick. Okay. The scales here are balanced, meaning that justice will prevail for all who are involved. It will be a balanced decision. 
for all who are involved. Here we have one foot sticking out and one covered. That represents this, this judge is very balanced. He's got his feet on the ground. And then if you notice, there's blue, I mean, I'm sorry, yellow back here bring, bringing in a brand new day. It's behind the red. So that represents after he makes this decision, there'll be a brand new day for all. Justice for all. So she will not get away with what she done. She will be punished for what she did. It's just a matter of time. The time clock is ticking. The time bomb is ticking to blow up in her face. And that is exactly what she deserves. I don't understand how people can do crimes and then expect to get away with it. Some people do. But karma, I'm telling you, karma always comes back around. You do not leave this earth. That is a golden rule. You do not leave this earth without paying karma back. Sometimes it takes a long time. 20 years, 10 years, 5 years, a month. Sometimes it's a day. It just depends on according to what you did, according to God's plan. God has the final say so, y'all. God has the final say so. Not a doctor, not a lawyer, not me, not the judge. God has the final say so, okay? It don't matter what we do on this earth, what we want, what we seek. God has the final say so. He's the one that makes the decisions of which way we're going to go. And I can guarantee you she's going to get exactly what she deserves and in the afterlife, she's going to have to face judgment day. And I don't feel like she's sorry for anything she's done so far. I don't see no remorse in these cards for what she's done to the people in her life, her children. That's the worst part of all those poor children. I don't see any remorse. So she's still got time to ask for forgiveness, but I don't see that coming. I, I don't see in the cards that she feels any remorse for what she's done. So justice is going to prevail. All right, y'all. This is it for now. We'll see what happens, you know, uh, with the uh, later developments on her case. Y'all, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be reminded when I upload another video. See you next time. Bye-bye. I will be live today at 6 p.m. See you then.